students today we'll see sar of cephalosporins okay already we have known the basic ring for cephalosporin so it is a fusion of two rings this ring already we have known this is called beta lactam ring and that one is fused with the thi dihydrothiazine ring okay so what is the role of the beta lactam ring that is important for penicillin binding protein reactivity and antibacterial activity in that beta lactam that nitrogen and carbonyl group know that two are essential for this reactivity and antibacterial activity and next one is dihydrothiazine ring that makes it more stable to acids and penicillinase okay and in first position we have sulfur so if the sulfur is oxidized to sulfone or sulfoxide what happens antibacterial activity would be reduced and in second position there should not be any substitution if there is any substitution what happens activity would be reduced and in third position what we have we have r1 so that is important for pharmacokinetic properties and antibacterial activity in the case of R1 if we introduce H CH3 or CL or CH2O CH3 or CH double bond CHR means we are getting acid stable compound that is metabolically stable and that would be orally active. Now in third portion if you are introducing CH2O CO CH that is acetyl oxymethyl that is acetoxymethyl is added in third portion means the compound would be acid unstable metabolically unstable and not active orally examples are cephalothin, cefapirin, cefotoxin and in third portion we are introducing amino carbonyl oxymethyl group means that is CH2O CO NH2 means the final compound is acid unstable and somewhat metabolically stable stable and that is not active orally examples are cefuroxime cefoxetin if we introduce thio thio thia diazole group in third position means the compound should be acid unstable metabolically stable and not active orally example is cefazolin next one is if we introduce thio triazin Thiotriazin in third position means the compound would be acid unstable, metabolically stable and that is not active orally. Example ceftrioxone and if we introduce a pyridinium group, pyridinium ion group in third position means the final compound is acid stable, somewhat metabolically stable, poorly active orally. Examples are cephaloridin, ceftazidime, cefsulodin and in third position methyl pyridinium sorry methyl pyrrolidinium group is added means the final compound is not active orally and uh, that is having anti pseudomonal activity example is cefepime now so if n methyl thiotetrazole is added or or that is thiotetrazole 1 acetic acid or thiotetrazole 1 methane sulfonic acid if you introduce these three groups in first uh, third position what happens the final compound is metabolically stable acid unstable and not active orally the examples for this, this one would be cefamandone cefotitan cefoperazone cefivitril and cefpyramide and examples for this one would, example for this one would be sephoranite and for this one is cefonizid and this cephalosporin is having a double bond between 3 and 4 so this is important for activity the position would not be changed if, if the position of the double bond would be changed what happens the activity would be reduced and in fourth position it should have a carboxylic acid group so that is important for activity because it is converted into salt and that is that can be used as a prodrex for and the products are having increased oral bioavailability the example would be cephodoxin proxetil already we have seen a uh, fifth portion and eighth portion these two are important for penicillin binding protein reactivity and antibacterial activity and sixth portion this is no this is important for chirality and seventh one in the case of seventh one what is added um, azyl amino side chain is added in the case so in the case of seventh portion if phenyl glycyl group is added already we have known the structure of glycine what is glycine nh2 ch2 coh that is called glycine if it is phenyl glycine instead of one nitrogen here um, phenyl ring is attached that's why benzene phenyl ring ch nh2 coh that is called phenyl glycine so phenyl glycyl group means this one that is uh, alpha amino benzyl no that is called as phenyl glycyl group so if we introduce phenyl glycyl group in seventh position what happens 
the stability of beta lactam ring node that is increased and we are getting orally active compound examples are cephalexin, cephadroxyl, cephaclor, cefprozil and lora carbef. If we introduce heterocyclic ring instead of phenyl ring what happens the pharmacokinetic property should be increased. If we introduce methoxy imine in 7th position already we have known imine means C double bond and that is called as imine with the nitrogen oh, methoxy group is added. So, uh, this means examples for that would be cefuroxime, uh, cefotoxime, ceftizoxime, ceftrioxone. So, uh, if it is a, if we introduce methoxy imine in 7th position what happens? that is having good beta lactamase activity and is and is uh, having increased gram negative activity and decreased gram positive activity and next one is if we introduce n alkoxy acid demine means that is also having same activity that is having good beta lactamase activity having increased gram positive activity and decreased sorry increased gram negative activity and decreased gram positive activity if we are comparing natural on uh, cephalosporins with the penicillins, this one no, this is having poor biological activity and this beta lactam ring is more stable to acids and beta lactamases. That is all about I say or of cephalosporins.